everyone. So we're here with Dr. Myers again, and today we're going to work our way up the body like we talked about. We're going to move on from the foot and go straight into the ankle. So this is kind of going to piggyback off of the ankles here, the uh, foot series we did um, beforehand. But it talks about when most people have that inversion type sprain. When that happens, it messes up that, that calcaneus, that heel, your talus, which is the first bone that pretty much the whole lower leg sits on top of. So that will shift. A lot of times with that sprain, you're, you have two bones right here in the lower leg your uh, tibia and fibula. fibula. So that thing will actually kind of separate a little bit. If it separates a lot, then that's when you have your high ankle sprain. It oh, okay. hurts like the Dickens, but typically heals up pretty quick. But it'll separate. Then that'll affect the dorsiflexion of the ankle. So the reason why we're doing this for performance is people want to squat. Right. Okay? So, and then, but if you lack ankle dorsiflexion, your squat mechanics are going to be off, right? And it's so, not just squatting, you guys, it's like we see the squatting body on TV, it's, it's when you guys go to the bathroom, it's everything. Squatting yep. is one of the number one things that we got to make sure you guys can do, that we can do all the days of our life, okay? okay. So normal functional movement, yeah. Yeah. okay? So one of the tests that we try to do is we get something, typically a wall, a pole, something, okay? I want it to be a good fist width away from the big toe. Now, as a screen, we see if you can actually get that knee to that hole without that heel coming off the ground. That's normal, okay? What I don't want to happen is whenever people are doing it and then all of a sudden that knee dives in, if anything, I'd rather kind of go on the outside part because when you do that, you're kind of getting that extra little bit of motion and it's a little bit of a cheat thing. You're kind of teaching that body to internally rotate that knee, which right. you're going to develop knee problems, right. which we'll get later on to in another video. So, can you put a clearing thing before you do your squat? I have it, my, all my athletes do this, and even my runners, whenever they go on their runs, is, is there ankle mobility where it needs to be? Fist width apart, and can you just move that ankle? If that heel starts to come off, you know that's a cheat. Yep. Now, we're looking for two different types of pain or tension or something that doesn't feel right in the ankle. Does it hurt on the front? Or does it hurt or pull in the back? Hurts on the front, it's a joint related problem. You're having an impingement in that joint. Okay. Now that's where people come to a chiropractor We kind of get that talus and everything to move, okay. that calcaneus, make sure everything's moving in the ankle joint wise to try to make sure it's moving right. Now, if you're doing it and all of a sudden I feel a pull here, that's your tissue. So that's when we're going to go do the fascial lines, okay. calf, ankle, plantar fascia, that whole posterior sling here. So guys, when it comes to the ankle, when we look at fascia, with this ankle, one thing we haven't talked about fascia is when you guys look at the lines, is there's not just lines that are going throughout your body, but you also have rings of fascia throughout the body. And so beyond the fascia lines going out, so if you start to get a hip problem, it starts to affect that whole line. Like you said, as your knee's moving forward, it might be the hip, it might be, it's, it could be somewhere within this outside or top line, just whatever, you know, inside. Because it's kind of when you look at it, you got bracelets on your wrists, okay? And this fascia, again, it's there to protect you, it's there to keep you strong, and it's there to make sure that you have all that mobility in both the wrists and the ankle. So let's just show you real quick how I usually have clients real quick just warm up their ankle because um, the key thing is we just want to create 360 degrees worth of uh, range of motion, all right? All right, so we're here at the ankle. So again, what I'm going to do is one thing that you guys may not have known is that when you touch your body, you tend to inhibit the nervous system, okay? So if you touch the ankle, if I grab this, I'm going to inhibit the muscle and the nervous system in this area, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab it, and if you can get your whole hand around it, great. You're generally going to use both hands. I'm just going to grab that ankle and then I'm going to start working it in 360 degrees both ways. Okay? The floor might peach a little bit, so you might have to pick it up a little bit. But just really, and it starts popping because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grab this to inhibit this fascial line so that it won't activate so the rest of this can move properly. Because a lot of times with this ankle, why it's getting so tight is as you, your fascia is trying to protect your ankle from falling, like basically from destroying itself. So as you guys get tight in the ankle, this fascial line is going to bind down. So we got to unbind it. So grab it and then just use that torque, use that body, use that foot, and just move. And that should pretty much get a lot of it out. And just, it's, again, it's just five or six reps each way. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time on this, not minutes on it. Just do a little bit both foot. It won't take much for your ankle. Mostly, the reason why you get so much out of it is you guys probably don't do a lot of ankle stuff like this. You don't really you know, do the 360s if you're not doing them. So just doing a 360 even without holding it is gonna get you guys a lot of, you know, range of motion. So just by inhibiting that, we're just kind of, you know, again, taking it to that next level so you guys can get even better results even quicker, all right? 
Right, so Dr. Mars, do you have anything to say about that or to add to it? Yeah, so I mean, everything we're doing right here is fantastic. I always want you, all my patients, and what I do in the clinic is you test, treat, and retest. Because you want to make sure the treatment's actually working. Right. So if you are stuck in this little range of motion test we did before, you do the mode, you do the tissue work, make sure you do your stretches, test it again. See if you're actually able to achieve that, that motion. That's the that point of the test. Exactly. <laughs> so okay. we want to make sure you're actually doing what it's supposed to be. If it works, great. Keep doing it. If it doesn't work, there's something else going on. So sometimes if you can't figure it out, we'll probably show you in another video, um, try to give you another another way to attack it. And if you're still not having success, then you need to go yeah. somewhere to, to figure out if you need some help. If you test yourself and it's not there, that's when you might need to grab a phone roller, do more tissue work on that calf. All right, guys, so thanks for watching today's video with the ankle. We, we, again, we didn't want to do a lot of big major things with it because we want to try to give you guys stuff that you generally have around the house or you can just do with your own body. So we're not trying to give you guys a bunch of stuff that you would have to have a gym and stuff for. Um, so between the two, if you do all the things that we've shown you, you, your feet and ankles should be feeling pretty good. Again, in the future, we'll go in more depth with what you need to do if you're still not getting where you need to be um, with your ankle and foot. Um, Beyond that, just stay tuned for the videos coming in the future of the next few weeks and months. We're going to continue to work our way up the body. Um, please let us know below if you guys have any comments or questions about anything that we're doing. Um, we'd love to answer your questions we'd, um, and, and re reply to your comments and let you know, you know what, what, what we think. If you guys have any questions about videos you'd like us to do uh, beyond just the body series that we're doing right now. And we appreciate you guys watching. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any videos. And we will see you guys next week. All right? Thank you.